hello everyone welcome back to a new tutorial and in this video we will see how to uninstall and remove anaconda from a mac system so first of all we will quit the anaconda navigator if it is running quit anaconda navigator so i'll say yes and now we will install one utility which is anaconda clean so this utility is provided by anaconda itself which simplifies the uninstallation process for us so to install this utility first we will open the terminal so command and space and type terminal let's maximize this and now here we will type conda then install space anaconda hyphen clean let's hit enter now here we will type y in order to proceed with the installation and this is finished now now we will run this utility so we will type anaconda hyphen clean and now we will add one more flag in this command itself which is yes so we will say space then hyphen hyphen yes so you might ask what is the purpose of this flag here so if we do not add this flag then it will keep on asking for confirmation for each of the file so instead we have added this flag in this command itself so it will automatically confirm all the removals so now let's hit enter so once it is completed it will create one backup directory in this particular path so now we will delete this backup directory and for that we will copy this path till here and here we will type rm space hyphen rf and now we will paste that copied path now hit enter so that backup directory is deleted now now we will delete some installation related files so for that we will figure out the location where exactly this anaconda is installed in our system so there are couple of default locations where it can be installed so we will have to figure out that one by one so one of the location is anaconda 3 in the home directory so for that we will type cd then space then tilde then forward slash and anaconda 3 so let's hit enter so it is saying no such file or directory which means this is not the correct path for my case now let's try another default location which is anaconda 3 in the root folder so we will type cd then space then forward slash and anaconda 3 let's hit enter so here also it is saying no such file or directory so this also is not the correct path now let's try the third default location which is inside the opt folder inside the root directory so we will type cd then space then forward slash opt forward slash anaconda 3 let's hit enter so this time we did not get that error and we are able to switch inside that directory now and for most of us this would be the correct directory but in case this was also not your installation directory then you can try for one more default location which is the opt folder but inside the home directory so for that you can type cd space then tilde then forward slash then opt forward slash anaconda 3 so this tilde will take you to the home directory so let's hit enter so for me this was the correct location sorry this one so this way you can try all the four locations now once you know your installation directory then we will remove that directory so first we will come out of this directory so i'll just type cd and hit enter so i am now inside the home directory and now we will delete that directory so we will type sudo then space rm space hyphen rf then space then we need to provide our installation directory so for me it was slash opt forward slash anaconda 3 now let's hit enter now here we need to provide the password of our local mac machine and let's hit enter so this might take some time here because it is around 4 to 5 gb in size so finally this is removed now and it took around one minute for me now we will delete one shortcut file which is present inside the applications folder so for that we will open the finder first and here we will click on this go then click on this applications 
and now here we need to look for this anaconda navigator shortcut so we will right click on this and say move to bin now there is one last thing which we need to do so we will again go to the terminal so let me clear the terminal first so that it would be better visible to you now first we will go to the home directory so we will type cd here and here we will look for the zshrc or the bashrc file so according to your mac os version either you will get the zshrc or the bashrc file so for that we will run this command which is ls space hyphen a so this will list down all the files including the hidden files so for my case it is the zshrc file and this dot is there because this is a hidden file now we will open this file using the vi editor so we will type vi space dot zshrc or the bash rc according to your case now here you would see couple of lines of code which is related to anaconda so we need to delete these as well so to delete these lines we will move to each of the line one by one and press the d key on the keyboard which is for the deletion so let me repeat here that we will move our cursor to each of the line like this and we will press d twice to delete that particular line so let me show you this thing once so currently i am on this line and i'll press d twice so the line is deleted now so similarly we need to delete all of these lines which are related to conda so i'll delete this as well then double d again double d so all the lines are deleted which were related to conda now finally we will come out from this vi editor so first we will type colon and then we will type w q and exclamation so whatever we are typing we can see here in this bottom left corner now finally we will hit enter so now we have come out from the vi editor so now we need to do the same thing for the bash underscore profile file as well so this is the file bash underscore profile so we will open this file as well with the vi editor so i'll say vi then space and then i'll copy this from here and paste it here let's open this and here as well i will delete all the lines which are related to conda so i'll go to that particular line and press d and d then again double d so like that i will delete all the lines now again i'll press colon then wq and exclamation and hit enter so now we have completely removed the anaconda from our mac system and now to verify this we will open a new terminal so i'll say shell then new tab so here you can observe the base environment of anaconda is not activated by default so it means the anaconda is uninstalled from our system so now if you found this video useful then do hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such videos and at the last if you want to access free tutorials on various technologies then you can refer multiple playlists which are available in the description below